a rather cool morning on the CN slash GTW Holly sub, and while Mr. Harrison is wide awake about to call the jobs with for the engines for today, he notices something a little odd. Well, except that he actually knew what happened. <sighs> I don't even freaking know what to call up these introductions anymore. <sighs> Good morning, engines. I will assign your duties for today in a moment, but first, we gotta wait for a bit for Barry to come back. Wait, why is he gone again? Oh, that's right. After he was done plowing snow off the rails, he sent him to another railroad to do some jobs with some of the locomotives there since they needed some help, right? Yep, that's right. And oh, there he is now. There you are, Barry. How did your word trip go on the North Valley short line? Well, it went terrible. Some of the locomotives there were absolute jerks. First off, there was this absolute loudmouth who wouldn't shut the hell up about Seaboard for some reason. And then after that, I met this old rusty steamer and that hates diesel locomotives because they wouldn't even he wouldn't even get over the fact that they replaced his kind. Like Ugh, it makes me mad thinking about it. But other than those two, at least the rest of the locomotives there could stand my existence for more than five seconds. Well, an aggressive answer for a big loco, hmm? Huh? Well, you're one to talk. Oh, shut up! I didn't even do anything. Like, those two bozos started harassing me like two seconds after I showed up. Well, for some odd reason, I don't believe you. Okay, that's enough. And Barry, I'm sorry that your work trip didn't go how you wanted it to, but hey, at least it's over, right? Pfft, I guess. But anyways, now since everybody's here, let me list out the jobs for you guys before I get too off track. No pun intended. <laughs> but yeah, first up, Billy and Bobby, I need you two to take some coil cars and haul them over to the General Motors Fabrication Center near the Baldwin Avenue yard and drop them off. And that area also so happens to have a wigwag railroad crossing signal, so be careful for any traffic, and if there's any rail fans, give them a good horn show. You think y'all can do that? Sure you can. Right, Bobby? Yeah, I guess. But you better make me wait, or else I'm going to make Hank send you to Canada. Wait, 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 wait. Back that up. I can't just send local to Canada just because you don't like them, Bobby. That's not how it works. Well, Dane, I forgot. Well, it looks like you ran out of treats now, Bob. So I'm going to read whether you like it or not. Okay, fine. But if there are any rail fans, let me give them a horn show. And plus, stop calling me Bob. Huh? Good luck with that, bud. My horn is louder and sounds better. Ugh, why do you always have to level up on me, Bill? Because I can, and I'm your big brother on the higher road. I'll quit using that excuse you are junk of empty junk. Hey, quit fighting and get the damn job done. If you guys keep doing that, I'm gonna send you to another shed again. So get moving and shut your traps. Ugh, fine. Let's go. I said I wanted to weed. Too bad, so sad, Bob. Why, you little? Hey, you two. Seriously, shut the hell up. I'm trying to switch here while I'm also trying to listen to the new Guns N' Roses User Illusion album because of you two interrupting the other time I was. Okay, fine. You hang your music sometimes. Yes, I know I'm musically inclined. I like listening to this music, okay? Jeez.
Hmm. Hmm. What's this? Well, it's probably nothing. Whoa! What the hell is that? It looks like we hit something there, Bill. Well, thanks, Captain Obvious. Let's just pull forward and check it out. Oh, bother. Looks like we hit a car. Well, darn. Mr. Harrison is going to be mad. Well, maybe. But clearly that guy was an absolute moron. Because didn't see the large red swinging circle with a red light that literally says stop in bright white letters underneath it. Not to mention the sign next to it says look and listen. Well, Mr. Harrison warily said to watch for traffic. You big hunk of junk. Well, at least we were going slow enough for the cross not to be lethal. Whoa, what entire nation just happened? Looks like they hit a car. Yeah, Jimmy, I know. I was asking how it happened, you smart aleck. This is an English class. Well, excuse me. Well... We hit this car because this moron in his Honda Civic completely ignored the crossing and we accidentally hit him because we were backing up. Ah, I see. You guys can go back to your spots. We'll take care of the rest of these while we're here. Alrighty then. So let me get this straight. You guys hit a car because while you guys were backing up, the said car ignored the warning device? Yep. Ah, well, normally I'd scold you and have re CN replace the crossing, but hell, removing it after just one accident would probably piss the rail fans off. So I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give the wigwag one more chance since it was in fact just one single freak accident. And plus, nobody died and or got seriously hurt at least. Alrighty then. Well, dang, Rick, you really got this done way faster than Ashley ever would. And speaking of again, thanks for coming along. This wouldn't have been possible without you, since you know, Ashley's getting some work done in the shops. Well, no problem. Now let's take these cars to the Baldwin Avenue yard since the GM fabrication plant needs these goods. Alrighty, right in front of you. Okay, now since that's done, let's do this, Rick.
Okay, I gotta hurry up and order this food before a freaking train comes. Uh, hello? Yes, I would like to place an order. I would like a large pepperoni pizza. Extra cheese. Yeah, extra cheese. Wait, wait, what is that? Uh, what is that? Ah! Oh, what the heck was that guy doing? Trying to beat the damn train? Apparently, hopefully the person is okay. The, the, no! My car! Well, you should have been paying more attention! Yeah, aren't there warning signs plastered all over that damn thing back there? Oh, right. There was. Yeah, I'm sorry. I guess I shouldn't have been ordering some food while being parked on some railroad tracks trying to beat my way into it, you know? Yeah, it's whatever. Now let's clean up this mess and take these cars down further so other locomotives can pick them up after GM is done. Eh, uh, alright. But in the meantime, I'm out of here. Another one? What do you mean another one? Well, something like this happened earlier with Billy and Bobby's job, and it's kind of, a, it's like kind of a shame that it happened again today, ain't gonna lie. But hell, it might be just rush hour or something, but if this happens again, I'm taking down that damn signal. Okay then. Start off, let's go ahead and take the cars out of the GM fabrication plant first, just to get them out of the way. Alrighty, let's do this. She's got a smile and it seems to me it reminds me of childhood memories where everything was as fresh as the bright blue sky. Hey, let me know if I'm getting close, all right? Okay, okay. Well, wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. There's a car. Wait, what? <laughs> I told you to stop. Well, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Well, let's go ahead and see if the person's okay. Alrighty then. Uh -huh. What the hell is this trash grade crossing protection? I couldn't even see the damn thing coming. Oh well. Yeah, and you should have been paying attention because the tracks are wide open for you to see. And on top of that, on the signal, you should have seen the bold white lettering both on the swinging red banner and the box next to it, you wacko. Did you ever learn how to read? Oh. Well, well, that doesn't matter. I'm still gonna sue CN for this absolute garbage of grade crossing safety. Like, this already caused two accidents today. One of them was my friend, who honestly thought it was nothing or something, but still. This should, this is to totally unsafe, and I'm gonna sue CN for all everything that you have. Because they, because y'all wrecked my expensive BMW because of this. Oh, jeez. We better head back to the roundhouse, Sammy. Yeah, might as well. If I sit next to this car driver anymore, I'm gonna start losing brain cells. You don't, don't. Wait, do I even have a brain? I don't know. I'm gonna sue everything that CN will ever have! <sighs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another car struck, and the driver wants to sue CN because of the outdated grade crossing protection? Yeah, apparently. Well, good luck beating the case goes to that idiot. But yeah, I shouldn't be that worried. But either way, at this point, I don't care what the rail fans think. If these idiots will keep on ignoring this, this darn crossing because they're, too, they're so much in a hurry for some stupid reason, then that wigwag has to go. Alrighty then.
Well, I hope that Wii Wii gets donated. That thing's pretty nostalgic. Yeah, well, judging from how CN is, that's that's pretty unlikely. But I'll see what I can do. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh well, nothing can last forever anyways. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and schedule a day for tomorrow, get a crew in, you know, get that signal replaced. So, yeah, let's, let me go ahead and call up the people while I am at it. Well, slight update for you. The moron didn't beat the case, which is good. But now, by law, we gotta remove the wigwag. So, I'm gonna get a crew, I'm gonna get a crew, you know, the crew that I called up, rounded up, and I should be back soon, alright? Alrighty, what's it gonna be replaced with? Uh, a crossbuck? What? That's even worse than a wigwag. It's just a freaking sign of a stick. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Or Axel, or whatever. I was just messing around. It's actually gonna be replaced by a modern signal setup in hopes of more people obeying it. Well, to be exact, a gateless crossing setup because by law, uh, I because since trains go slow through there, uh, I it, I don't have to install gates, which I guess is a good money saving tactic. But yeah, hopefully more people will obey it. In that case. Oh, all right. Phew, that's better. You got me there for a second. Yep. And if you excuse me, the crossing crew over there is waiting for me, so I should be back soon, alright? Y'all sit tight, and make sure Barry, d you know, shuts the hell up. Hey, I heard that! <laughs> uh, I'm just messing around again. Anyway, see you guys in a bit. Let's do this. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, boss, that crossing don't actually look half bad right there. Even though we took that crossing from another location in on like an inactive short line and put it here, but you know what? This should serve better protection than the uh, old wigger anyway. Yep, I agree. Hey, you, jump in the truck and test the signals, would you? Yeah, let's go ahead and test them. Well, they seem to be working just fine to me. I agree, this seemed to be such a major success. Now, what should we do with this wigwag? Ugh. Well, if you guys don't mind, can I take it? I'll give you some cash. Actually, you know what? Yeah, at the moment, I don't know if CN wants this thing to go anywhere. I guess you can take it. Alright, sweet. Well, that's looking real good right there, right by my office. Just makes me glad to save such a historical piece of railroad history. So, the moral of the story is, safety always trumps history, modern safety especially. But, I guess you can try to preserve the, all the memories that you can while you're at it. <laughs> yeah.